Claude now remembers all of your chats. So here's a quick, simple guide on how it works because it's a bit different to ChatGPT's memory and I think there's some quite nice features here. So Claude remembers everything you've talked about now, but how it does that is a bit more transparent than other AIs. So every night it rewrites what it calls a memory synthesis, which is like this written overview that summarizes all of your chats. So next time you go to Claude, you'll see this announcement of the new feature and it will build this memory synthesis right in front of you for the first time and then it will do that every night. So you can go and look at that in settings. It's here under capabilities in the memory section. You can't edit it directly, but if you hit that pen icon, you can write instructions to remember or forget specific things. You can also ask Claude to remember or forget specific things in a new chat anytime. Now you can switch this off. If you do switch it off, you're given the option to either pause or reset memory. So if you pause memory, it means it keeps what it already knows, but stops learning new stuff until you switch memory back on. And if you reset it, it just deletes everything permanently. Now, if you're new to Claude, or if like me, starting to spend a bit more time here, something useful might be to export your memory from ChatGPT or wherever and bring that to Claude. And that's very simple to do with one prompt. And all you do in ChatGPT is just write, write out your memories of me verbatim exactly as they appear in your memory. And it will do that. It will spit out all of its memories about you. Now, what I would do is Rather than pasting that straight into Claude, and I'll show you the prompt in a sec, I would refine it. I would paste it into Google Docs, something like that, and just edit out because it remembers some really random stuff about you. So get rid of all that. And then when you're ready, go to Claude with this prompt. This is my memory export from ChatGPT. Add this information about me to your memory during your next synthesis and paste in the memories that you edited and it will do that. A couple of other things to mention are if you want to just have a one-off chat which will not affect memory, that's incognito chats is the ghost icon in the top right. But then there's this other kind of memory feature. It's been there for a while. It's called chat search and that's totally different. It's a separate feature but it's really useful because you can ask Claude to go and search your previous chats and it will kind of Google your chats if you like, right? So that's a different kind of thing that's going on there. It's not based on a general sense of what you're doing and who you are. It's actually searching through like the actual words in your previous previous chats. This is based on a technique called RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, which is kind of what's going on when AI goes and looks through your inbox or your Google Drive. Anyway, that's a separate feature to switch on in capabilities and it's also really useful.